Hey, Handy Abby here with another DIY video. Let's check it out, shall we? So, what I have for you all today is uh, installation of a new shower head fixture. So see, here, here's the old one, okay? And I actually just got this new Mullen Magnetics shower head with the hose attachment. Um, so it has a few different settings here, okay? Um, I actually took everything out of the box already. All right, so we have the hose with some washers, the shower head, and then here's the attachment for the magnetics, okay? And then what you also want to have handy, Handy Ambi says, what you want to have handy is some thread seal tape, the white tape. Um, it just helps prevent leaks in your shower. So you want to have some of this. And then in order to remove the old one, you might need some pliers. Um, you might, you might not, depending on how tight it was um, to be able to get that one off. But what you want to do is when you put, apply the new one or uh, install the new one, um, just hand tighten. They don't have to be too tight if there's some linkages. Maybe get a wrench and tighten just a little bit more um, just to stop the leak but you don't want to over tighten uh, your shower head and mess up the threads. And that's what the seal tape also helps you do is it seals it so you don't have to uh, over tighten, okay? So let us take off this other, the shower head, okay? So let's see, I'm just going to reach up and up. See, this comes off very easily. Want to make sure you have your water, the faucet turned off, obviously. You don't want water to start spraying out on you. Another handy tip. Uh, as you see, as I'm pulling this off, you see the other seal tape there, right? Um, boom. You see, that's kind of old in there. It's all worn out a little bit, but that's okay. You want to clean this up and get that old seal tape off, all right? Um, this has inside uh, kind of a, a washer um, for the flow of the water so that doesn't come out too strong. So um, either that came with this system, so we wanna remove that for the new system, uh, as you see. clean up that other one get us a nice little towel here okay. uh, very quickly okay and we're going to just clean up this tape shouldn't be too challenging you might have to peel it off with your hand okay and unravel it a little bit. There we go, see? So now let's, if you look at all the angles, it's nice and clean. Need to clean up here, huh? All right, just give it one more go. Okay, clean that up nicely there. And then what we want to do is we want to get our new seal tape, okay? And we are going to just apply, you know, a little bit so it just covers the thread of the shower head arm, okay? So, like so, just gonna wrap it around. It's not thick, um, so, just need a good go around. You don't need too much. 
see? And it's nice and covered very easily. Okay. And it's easy to tear. You should be able to just pull it off there. All right. Easy peasy. So far, so good. You following me? Yes. Shake your heads. Yes. Or give me a wink. All right. You see, you're doing a little bit of painting here. Don't mind the wool. Okay. Now that we got that situated, we're going to get um, our new washers. Okay. Our new pieces here. Um, and what we want to do is you see how that has that washer that I took out from the old one already in there. So that's our new um, washer and kind of screen there. Um, so we'll just hand tighten this on, on um, to the shower arm, okay? So I'm just gonna screw that in, start screwing it in. And it's usually, I mean, they're universal sizes, so you shouldn't have to um, get any other thread or anything. Um, so you see it's just screwing on very easily there. Let's see, make sure you're screwing it as far as it goes, because again, we don't want any leakages, right? Screwing it on to the shower arm. All right. And we should be good to go there. This, we just want to pull it down a little bit because the hose is then going to attach to this. So we just want it to be down pointing towards the tub. All right. Now that we have that tightened, so we can't tighten anymore. Let me do it with my other hand. Strong hand. Righty tighty, lefty loosey. Great tip my dad used to teach me growing up. So you can always remember. All right. So I think it's tight enough. We'll see. We'll check the leakage if there's any. I doubt it. Okay, let's get down here and get our other parts um, together. So the next thing that we want to do is we want to attach our hose. Um, so this is a, a great, I picked this one because it is all encompassing the shower head and the hose. Um, you know, those traditional systems, they um, have the shower head and the hose, so you'll have two. Some people like that, but I thought it would just be more clean. Um, I like what Moan's doing um, with this design. So I thought I'd try it out here, see how it works. Uh, gotta unwrap this and get these um, washers off. Because what do washers do? They help seal, create a seal, uh, so you can prevent your even further leaks. So we'll get our new washers. You always want to use new ones, don't use old ones. Uh, you see, over time, old ones they start to wear and get warped. And so you always want to use the new ones that come with um, anything that you purchase, okay? Um, so if we look at the hose, both ends of the hose, pretty similar. Um, so we want to put those washers. One washer is going to go to um, this part of the shower head and the other one's going to go in that bottom portion um, of that first attachment that we put on. So I'm just going to grab a washer and place it inside here like so. Okay. Um, 
And then what I'm going to do is set this down for us. Is I'm going to I got it in place as you see, nice and flush to the base. And then I'm gonna screw in this. Also, you just wanna hand tighten this. Um, you don't wanna, I mean, if you get pliers, make sure maybe you wrap a towel or something really thin so that you aren't uh, scratching. It's just plastic housing, so um, you don't wanna scratch. It's new, right? So even if it wasn't new, you don't wanna scratch your housing. So see, just hand tighten that. So now we have that portion onto the hose, like so. Nice push button to change the water. We'll see how that works in a second. I'm excited about it. Instead of the little typical handle here, okay? You don't wanna over tighten, okay? Don't over tighten mess up your threads and then I'll get the other side that's going to connect to in the shower I'll insert that washer the same way we did the other one make sure it's nice and flush in the side and then we're going to come up here again to our shower okay and uh We're just going to attach that here, um, right here. Now you can also add some thread tape as well if you want in these sections. I'll see how they do. You see, I'm just hand tightening it here. Say it with me now, righty tighty. Lefty loose. Alright. So it's getting tightened here. Alright. See. We don't see anything left. Don't over tighten again. And voila, very easy. Took all of what, if I wasn't holding this phone, probably would've took all of five minutes um, to install this very easily. Um, and then uh, what we do is we'll just attach this there. Pretty cool. And let's check out um, our shower head. See how it works, okay? Turn the water on. I'm gonna close the shower curtain just a little bit. To avoid the water. So we're gonna turn it on. Let's see how it comes oh. out. There we go. Pretty cool. Comes off, it's magnetized. Snaps back on. Change the setting with the push of a button. Change it again. Oh, now it's coming out. Change it again. So you see it slowly. I think it's just getting started, so um, I might not have a stripping later. So we got our six settings, and it's pretty cool. And you see, ladies and gents, we don't have any leaks coming out. So far, so good. If they come out over time, again, you can just hand time again, or if you do, um, you know, let me turn this off a little loud. But if you do have any leaks, uh, all you have to do again is just, um, and the hand tightening isn't working, again, get your, maybe you need some of that seal tape. Um, I'll show that to you again. You can get it at any hardware store. Um, Ace, Home Depot, Lowe's, maybe even Walmart, and Walmart has some tool sections. Um, and you just want to put your seal tape in there. It could be that uh, the threads aren't matching up for some reason. 
uh, that might help um, or they're worn or something like that. In which case you might think about uh, replacing um, your shower arm or something of that nature. But I'm excited uh, to check out this shower and we'll see how it works. Thanks for watching and um, it's Handy Ambie signing out and I'll talk to y'all later.